Well, like it or not, it's time to trim the fire bush. So, yeah, this, uh, got to do this every year. He's got a lot of buds on him still over here. And uh, I got to get this trimmed because AC. I did a pretty nice job uh, with it. Maybe uh, you could say even aggressive job with it last year, but it gets bushy. So it's, uh, yeah time to trim it so just because they're trying to electrify the entire planet and make cars electric and that we're definitely using the gas one it's heavy and unwieldy unwieldy pardon got some two cycle this is extra rich with two cycle oil it's just gonna make it real smoky uh, I mean it's not that rich but it's definitely uh, more than 50 to 1 how much more I don't know I pre-loosened this so I wouldn't have to get pliers on it like I normally do. Okay. Just looked like there was something in there. So this fuel is two, three years old, easy. If I can get the damn nozzle to operate. There he goes. Gas tank is tiny and it leaks. But it definitely does the job. So that's plenty overly full. That should be good. Okay. Now, it's been a year since I started this. Oh, that smells really horrible. That's great. So, if I recall, I have to turn the switch on, lock the trigger on, if I could figure out, there we go, that's how you do that. Put the choke on, says six I think let's see yeah six didn't seem to work so we did more like a little more than that and pull the rope 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 and let's see if it's gonna start I don't know it may not Coil is a little wonk. Hey, not bad. Now half choke. So I don't know what I'm doing with this. All I know is that when I'm done, it, it generally looks better. Now, I need to get a ladder and get up there, and then of course there's all the fine-tuning of all the rest. 
that's uh that's quite a bit they got knocked off already i need a ladder for the back there and all that stuff so i don't know if i'm officially done with the gas one uh at this moment i might fire it back up but i have something else i'm going to use now so for the lighter stuff i like to use a lighter duty tool because it makes sense and on top of that it's a lot easier to maneuver and i have this garden line one here i got at aldi and it works just fine it's a lot smaller it's very light duty stuff but for little bits and pieces it works great and then china came along and said oh we have a yellow one to send you this is the eve age and guess what The oldie one is actually a little longer by an extra tooth, which is interesting, or an extra two. But I'm going to try this one out. We'll see how it does. This one charges USB, so that's handy, even though it goes to a, uh, what does it go to? Does it matter? I don't think it matters. Well, the little rubber plug wants to stay in there. Oh, it goes to USB-C, it looks like. Because, of course, you need to plug your hedge trimmer into your laptop. Because we're, we're running out of power sources. They want to electrify everything. You're going to have to use your laptop to charge your hedge trimmer. But anyway, I'm going to use that to get some of the little pieces. So, let's get the camera reconfigured. And we'll try that out. So, there's a milk crate here that I can stand on. This is the wave of the future, folks. This is going to make your hedge trimming take 10 times as long as it used to. But for the big stuff here, it's not slowing down. It's doing just fine. So yeah, it actually did the trick. And not for nothing, the little oldie garden line one. Same thing. Bottom line is it works. And you got to say, though, the smaller size really lets you hit the details. So that's what I like these for. But other than that... It's gas or corded electric all the way. I mean, if you're an old person, you can go out and play with that all day because that's what the government says is good for the planet. And anyway, I got work to do. I got a ladder now. There. That'll let me get in here a little better. This one rotates. Ooh! I guess it's good for those old people with arthritis. There's no way that I could get in here with the big gas one. It's just... just wouldn't wouldn't have it so I really like the smaller size of this as such to be able to do this I don't know 
what vantage point the camera really has, but from what I can see here, the AC is not blocked at all. From the ground, it looks like you got some work to do, Jay. Up here, not so much. I mean, it's really good. I like to dig out a gully here. Do the top of my bush. So manscaped, you gonna send me some shit for a spot in one of my videos? Because this would be a great uh, video for that. You know, could show how you could get your bush trimmed and your your balls waxed and yeah. I heard those ads pay a lot. I will tell you, it's never happened yet. But if I do get sponsored like that, I'm going to have them. That's too much money to pass up. Caught it up. A little too much for her, right there. If they made the notches in this thing bigger, and they made it more powerful, I think it would work a lot better, but for light duty stuff, or if you have very new shrubs, it should work just fine. I'd like to say it's a matter of using the right tool for the job, but then there's going to be some landscaping Julio who's going to say, you're not using the right tool, man. Use the right tool for the job. Oh, look at that. I'm a bush cutting Schmidt. <laughs> Very nice. Let's take care of that. It's, uh, there's holes. It's all right. They grow back every year. The AC, oh yeah. That most certainly looks good there. That's all notched out well. You know, I mean, that could be just a little shorter, that one there. I'm not great at it, like I said. The bare spots also, like I said, will fill in, in time. And, uh, oh, what's that? Oh, the thing in the back. Yeah, you know, I thought about it, and I said, if I don't start the air conditioner up after doing all of this work, then the AC twerps aren't going to get their orgasm for this video and they're going to hit dislike. But that doesn't matter anymore, so no air conditioner start up.
Was it good for you too? Yeah. Slow fan startup. I think the fan capacitor is on its way out, but otherwise it works. There is lower line voltage today. At this point in time, the pool is running and probably both central airs are on. And I watch the voltmeter I have go down Oh, six volts? Five or six volts by now. So that doesn't help anything. It's running, and there's definitely heat coming out. And here, there is definitely cold coming out. Thermostat is set to 75, and it kicked right on. I have not started this unit since the first startup video I did. So uh, this was the second startup ever this year. It sure feels good though, I'll tell you that. And it's staying running. It's pretty hot today, so I can understand that. I'm a bit concerned about the fan startup. So let's stop it. We'll just wait about seconds. And I'll turn it back on. Now obviously this has a compressor lockout. That was reasonable. set it down just in case and uh, yeah I guess for uh, in case you, you missed your first cue I'm gonna leave this running until it starts back up and then we'll close this out although I absolutely abhor WD-40 it's actually an excellent idea to spray down your garden shears when you're done using them with WD. I just give the blade a nice coat, real thick. Don't forget the back side. Shake it off. Run it for a second. If it's, you know, I mean, if it's a gas engine, you got to restart it. That's another story, but. Just like that and then I just hit that with a rag and we're all good and in fact I did use the little baldy one also this guy here so we'll spray that as well you can also spray it down before you use it and that'll sort of help it glide a little better it actually makes a difference believe it or not pretty smooth and as far as battery power on this one two out of three chinas the other one I think still shows green which is its indicator Yep, still showing green, so anyway, there's that, and then of course I got the big gas one, so we'll just get that and spray that down quick. We'll just spray that guy down. And the other side as well. I just hit it with a rag. I don't know if you caught that, but there it is. It's very, very quiet. All right, that is going to wrap this video up of trimming the firebush. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. 
and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.